So at Anfield, a match full of potential and plenty to enthuse over for the man at the microphone, match commentator Ian Don. Liverpool's John Barnes makes his 500th league appearance today. There's one change in defence after the midweek win at Villa. Neil Ruddock is suspended, and that opens the way for Mark Wright to return to a side, which has won Roy Evans the Manager of the Month award for the second time running. Jamie Redknapp back on the bench after a long absence with a hamstring injury. Spurs hope to repeat a dramatic FA Cup quarter-final victory here last season. It's debut day for Andy Sinton, who has been reunited with his old boss, Jerry Francis, after an unhappy spell at Sheffield Wednesday. Darren Caskey is the man to drop out. Teddy Sheringham and Chris Armstrong. 33 goals between them in opposition here with Robbie Fowler and Stan Collymore who have a total of one more than that. Which of the striking duos, I wonder, will come out on top here? Spurs trying to build down the right-hand side. Here is Chris Armstrong. This is very much his territory, this right-hand channel, and linking up well with Rule Fox. Armstrong again. And no chance there for Dean Austin. Tottenham had a win and a draw under Jerry Francis at Anfield since Francis took over at White Hart Lane. But remember, Liverpool did win at Spurs 3-1 earlier in the season and gave Tottenham a bit of a lesson. Liverpool beaten just once at Anfield in the league this season and that was by their deadly rivals Everton. Good move again. Here's Chris Armstrong driving the slow. Oh, and Sheringham just failing to reach it. It was a great ball in by his strike partner, Chris Armstrong. Some real pace on this cross. And Sheringham just unable to take advantage. Collymore, who's really beginning to flourish now at Anfield after his uncertain start. Taking on Calderwood, getting in the cross very, very well. Fowler was waiting to pass. Now the deadly duo were both on target at Aston Villa in the week. Fowler very nearly profiting again there. McManaman. They're pushing in. John Scales involved. Liverpool on a real charge and some hopes that they may even be able to catch Newcastle though the gap going into this one was nine points Clive Wilson who's followed Jerry Francis to White Hart Lane now Austin Fox's neat little flick on Sheringham in towards Armstrong and smuggled away but Sheringham and Armstrong again linking up well very clever little ball through by Sheringham, who has excellent vision, and it was Scales who got it away. Rule Fox with the corner. And that is a tried and trusted Tottenham training ground routine with Sheringham pulling away from the near post. Not really picked up. Thomas. Now here's McManaman with another chance to do what he loves to do and that's run at defenders. Great run from McManaman again. Exciting to watch. Well if his finishing match his exciting skills on the run with the ball he really would be a wonderful, wonderful player. Sure to play a big part you'd think for England in the European Championships, McManaman. Still waiting for the first goal here and so much striking talent on show. Rob Jones's clearance. Barnes hustled out of it and here is Chris Armstrong with a great chance. Oh no. It just ran away from him. That was a real off for Liverpool. 
Lovely ball through from Rule Fox. Perfect weight on it. Armstrong gets the better of right. Gets us James. And how infuriating for him was that? Tottenham so far carrying plenty of menace. Scales. Fowler got up well. Got him off! Now they work one well time in there. Fowler is only a little man, but he got up ahead of Calderwood and Colin Moore ballooned it over. Good chance. Just in Edinburgh. Trying to take a here. Andy Sinton, the new boy. And Armstrong's header, and what a save that was from David James. Lovely moment between them. Well, Sinton on his debut, so nearly set a goal here for Armstrong. He did everything right, loads of power, great save. Tottenham's corner. Scales gets it away. Now here's Fowler. Liverpool looking for the breakthrough. Nicely done off the outside of the left foot to Collymore. Low and just wanted a touch on the way through. Collymore thinks that was a corner. He might be right. Well, this is typical Collymore bearing down on goal on the edge of the box and just a foot or two wide. Well, Campbell beaten to it by Jones, and Campbell had his feet up. The referee anxious to let the play continue. Oh, Dean Austin dispossessed. Here goes McManaman. Oh, and a very nice piece of play by Wilson. Now Campbell, right, got a foot in. Here's Armstrong again. Takes on Bab. Chris Armstrong. And again, not too far away. He's been a constant menace. He's got a totally different proposition this season with Tottenham than he was last year with Palace. Liverpool unbeaten in ten matches remember but they're finding as so many sides have this season that Tottenham are a far more hard-edged resilient side under Jerry Francis up goes Collymore here he is again Collymore well struck and well saved too by Ian Walker Dynamite in that effort from Stan Collymore. Roy Evans admitting this week that maybe Collymore wasn't treated quite properly when he first arrived. He wasn't dovetailed into the system effectively. He certainly is now. Armstrong. Lovely run. Chris Armstrong late on. Oh! He nearly won it for Tottenham there. David James again to the rescue. Not the first time he's spoiled Armstrong this afternoon. But it's been an exciting performance this from Chris Armstrong. And Sinton with the corner. And James again doing his stuff. Fowler takes on Wilson. Switching onto that favoured left foot of his. And Liverpool snatch a late winner here. McAteer. Foul out. Shot was blocked by Dean Austin. Barnes on his 500th league appearance. Rush. McManaman. Mavert getting a foot to it at a vital time. Bouncing around dangerously. Thomas. 
Makatia wasn't going in anyway, despite the excitement of the Liverpool fans. But uh, Ian Walker certainly didn't know that. Thomas stretching, and then Makatia. Good power, but it was swirling wide, I think. Free kick for Liverpool, who badly need the victory. They need to win everything, really, now, if they're going to mount a challenge for the championship. It would certainly be points dropped here if they were held. And Makatia with a chance to win it. And he slides it a yard or two wide, and Tottenham breathes again. Collymore just flipped it, and Fowler very aware of McAteer's run. He tried to slide rule it into that far corner, not quite. Referee looking at his watch, and blows the full-time whistle. Liverpool are held at home. It's a result which will do their championship chances no good at all, and Tottenham again proving a tough nut to crack on their troubles. They now have a win and two draws under Jerry Francis on travels to Anfield. No goals for Fowler and Collymore, none for Sheringham or Armstrong, though Armstrong came close a few times. Liverpool nil, Spurs nil.